Hello and welcome back to C Programming Simplified. Today we are looking at variables, data types, and the scanner function. We begin by asking ourselves what is a variable identifier? Well, a variable identifier is a unique user defined string used to represent a variable. And what is a variable? A variable is a name given to computer memory location used to store values. Let's take the analogy of post office box. All the boxes have the same size, that is, identical storage space, and can only be identified by a box number. Same logic is applied when we create variables. Now let's take a look at important rules one needs to consider when creating variables. Number one, variable name must begin with a letter or an underscore. Two, variables are case sensitive. If we declare in uppercase, then we will always make reference to, the, to that same variable in uppercase. And same will apply for lowercase. They can be constructed with digits and letters. No special symbols are allowed other than underscore. C keywords can be used as variables. What are these keywords? Now, when you are talking of a keyword, it's basically a word that is a part of C language. Here we have an exam examples of some valid variables, such as age, marks, student, underscore, grade. When we declare variables, we must declare them together with the data type. We have basic types of data types, such as car. It stores a single character and requires a single byte of memory in almost all computers. We have the integer, int. An int variable is used to store an integer value. Then we do have the float and the double. The floating point value or real numbers with single precision, while the double, we are talking of double precision, that is, it is used to store decimal numbers, numbers with floating points with double precision. Let's look at how you declare and assign a value to a variable. To declare, example, let's take an example of variable age and variable name. Variable age is of an integer type and variable name is of a character type. However, if you look at its declaration, we have box uh, braces there, and this gives us an indication that we expect variable name to hold more than one character. If we are going to assign after we have declared, age is equals to 15 for a variable age, which is of an integer type, and for variable name, which in this instance now is of a string type, though declared using character, would be assigned, as you can see, we have it assigned Mary. Now, if we were to declare and assign at the same time, basically will be int age is equals to 15, and the other one will be char name is equals to Mary. Mary, remember, is composed of more than one character and that makes it a string. Now we have two different types of variables that we are going to look at. We have local variables and we have a global variable. A local variable is declared in, inside a function, while a global variable is declared outside. A Let's use sample program codes to learn different types of variables. Looking at the code that's shown here, we are seeing these are, these are code that demonstrate the use of local variables. Let's look at the program. Starts with ash include, and then we have the main function. And inside the body of the main function, we have a declaration of age as integer, and it has been assigned value 22. Then we have a character uh, a declaration of name Ari, which has been assigned Mary. Then we have a character declaration of grade, which has been assigned a character B. Now you need to, if you are keen enough, you'll be able to note that we have double quotes for the string, that is for the 
uh, assignment of name array Mary and then we have a single quote for the assignment of grade is equals to B you need to be able to note that because if you use uh, double quotes for assigning grade is equals to B with with the double quotes you're going to get an error now let's look at the print F looking at the print F the first one says my name is percentage s and then we have name basically this one implies that it is expecting a string and we have name being declared as an array meaning that it is taking more than one character hence the use of percentage s and therefore where we have percentage s will be substituted by the value that has been assigned to name the second print f it says i am percentage d years old again what happens where we have the percentage d that implies first of all that there will be a substitution of an integer value where we have percentage d the third one i am in grade percentage c that one is expecting to get a single character and therefore the character that will be that is being held by grade will be substituted with percentage c now we need to look at this program as it runs on our ide we're using dev c plus plus and therefore we come to we can come to file new and then we select a source file or as we said alternatively what we need to do is just click new once we click new we have a new source file and therefore we can write our program there now once we have the program here we need to save maybe we call it uh let's compile and run to give us the opportunity to save we can call it uh my variables and then we save it let's wait for it to execute compile and execute and there we have the results says my name is mary i am 22 years old i am in grade b now that we have seen the program in execution let's continue now this part represents the local variables because these variables have been declared within the function main they are within the body of the function main and therefore that means that they are only recognizable within the body of the function main again still the same program we have altered altered the program a little bit we've gotten rid of the grade now the declaration of the grade now what we have done again we have uh, instead of using two prints f for age and name array what we are doing is that we are combining the results in one print f now let's let's look at it here if you look at the print f it says my name is percentage s and i am percentage d years old now again as we have, we have said a uh, name will substitute percentage s and also the value that is being held by variable age will substitute percentage d now not the arrangement if we begin with percentage s then on this other side we also need to re to begin again with the variable that holds the value we expect in this part of the sentence again the, the same applies for age since it is the second one here it will substitute the second percentage d again those are the local variables we still have them within the body of the function main only recognize within the body of the function main now let's look at global variables when you're talking of global variables we're basically talking of uh, variables that have been declared outside the functions it is outside of any function that is in that particular program 
and therefore for that reason it is recognizable within all the functions that have been declared in that particular program now looking at what we have here uh those two that is int edge and channel array are basically uh global variables because they have been declared outside all the functions that have been declared in this program we only have two functions declared in this program that is the first one is my name and the other one is the main function so looking at my name it will basically just output my name is and then the percentage as will substitute the value in name array now remember from our previous class or lesson we say that all the program executions in c begin from main and therefore if it begins from main we expect the first line to be output by this program is my name is and then the a substitution of percentage s and i am substitution of percentage d years old then after that the next sent the next uh, statement here makes a function call to a function referred to as my name and we have my name here it has been declared here my name so once this is executed again it will output my name is percentage s this basically just a demonstration that uh these variables are recognized within all these functions that are within this particular program now let's see the execution of the program in our ide going to our ide for us to execute the program using dev c++ again we can just click there get a source file there we have our code there just make sure that all the characters all the quotes and all the terminations are in the right place it looks okay so let's try to execute the program so we come to execute compile and run we can call it what uh, let's call it variables variables two there is running it says my name is mary i am 22 years old my name is mary now that we have seen the program is executing and it is able to give the uh, correct output let's proceed remember those were the global variables because they are declared outside the functions now let's look at working with scanf the scanf allows a program to accept input from a console a console is basically just the keyboard now we have the scanf percentage d ampersand age now percent remember percentage d declares an integer and then we have an ampersand and then we have age there now the percentage d we have said it's an integer and then we have the age which is a variable and must be declared as an integer and we have the percentage uh, we have the ampersand which acts as a pointer now the scanf function uses the same placeholds as printf we have int which is percentage d we have float percentage f we have a uh, we have car which is percentage c and we have string which uses percentage s now let's look at this program for demonstrating the use of scanf again we begin from ash include then we get into the main function and there is a uh, by now you know that qty and costs are local variables because they have been declared within the function main uh, we get into a printf which says enter quantity of items bought then we have our scanf and then qty ampersand qty that tells us the qty must be declared as an integer then we get to the next printf which says enter total cost of items should be items bought 
and then we have the scan f because we are expecting the value ender to be of float type we are we are using percentage f and then ambassand then we have cost cost was declared as a float and lastly we are saying the total value of then we have percentage d items bought is percentage f by now you know that the arrangement should be the first one where we're saying percentage d should be the first one that comes here after the first comma then the next one which is percentage f should follow now let's see this program as it executes on our ide on our ide again we come to new and then we get a source file there is our code uh, let's save our program as we can talk of what let's say my scan yeah let's call it my scan then now we can come to execute and then compile and run says enter quantity of items bought you can see there is a cursor blinking and this is where our scan f is it ex expects us to enter a value probably we enter eight again we have the second printf outputting enter total cost of items we have our second scan f that is waiting for a value to be entered uh, maybe we end up 521.5 there you can see the result it is able to output uh, the results of our input we have seen that our program is able to execute without any errors in summary we've been able to look at variables and we've been able to distinguish between variables and variable identifiers we have seen how we can be able to declare and assign values to variables we have also looked at data types different basic data types used in c such as integer character float and double and lastly we have looked at the scanf function its syntax and different placeholders and that wraps up our lesson two let's meet next time bye bye